Hi, King Boomer. I cannot decide whether you look like a Civil War general or a communist dictator, but either way, I don't like it. Hello, Booms. What's going on? I hope you're doing well. I got another Would I Lie to You reaction today. This is Lee Mack, the, be the best panelist on the show, in my opinion. He's, he's really good. I said it in my last Would I Lie to You reaction. If you take Lee Mack out of the show, it's just, it, it's not the same. You might be able to say this case, same for uh, David Mitchell, but uh, Lee Mack, man, he's the best on this show. That's why I like doing these uh, reactions so much. But uh, this one titled is Bermuda is an acronym of Lee Max X's, which I don't believe at all. But uh, we'll see how it goes here. There's no way this is true. No way. Although, you know, Lee Mack is a, is a slippery one. He can convince you of almost anything when it comes to these uh, uh, tales that he tells. But uh, anyway, I'm going to get into it. Like, subscribe, do whatever you guys want. And let's see if he's telling the truth or if he's telling a lie. Here we go. It's Lee. Ooh. I can always remember all my ex-girlfriend's names and the order in which I went out with them because their initials happen to make the acronym Bermuda. No, I don't believe this at all. At all, but let's see. <laughs> Okay, off we go. <laughs> B. What? B. Yo, D David Mitchell is great. He doesn't even ask a question. He just says B. Like, go ahead, name who the B was. Was it Beth? Oh, God. B, will you please give me the names of all your ex girlfriends <laughs> Make the acronym Bermuda as quickly as possible, please. <laughs> okay. Brenda. No. Brenda. <laughs> Super. Brenda <laughs> is still as popular a name as ever. <laughs> uh, e. Sorry? Ethel. I'm helping you. What's the next one? Uh, Ethel. E. Is it Ethel? No, it's Enid. not Ethel. Enid. No, it's Emma. not Enid. Have another guess. <laughs> Erin. Sorry? Erin. 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 Okay. Um, I'll just build Bermuda. <laughs> Um, well, I know, but that's joking, yes. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so I'm telling you, you take him out of the show, it just ain't the same. It's it, The show is half as good. I'm telling you, man, Lee Mack is the goat on this show. Uh, sorry, uh, 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 that was... Uh, 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 that Rasputin. was actually... That was actually Regine. Sorry? sorry? Regine? Regine. Regime, as in regime change. No, no, no. no. <laughs> next, next up, after... The regime. Regine was the lovely Molly. Molly, 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 yeah. Molly. I could tell you a thing or two about Molly, but this isn't the time. No, <laughs> Next one. What about you? you right. This is the weird one. This is the weird one, right? <laughs> They're all a bit weird. No, not actually her name, right? But in my nickname for her, Yuna. <laughs> Yuna. What was her real name? Sally. <laughs> Why did you call Sally Yuna? Because Yuna Stubbs played Aunt Sally in uh, Wurzel Gummidge. Oh. <laughs> what are you saying? What's your name? Sally. <laughs> Why did you call Sally Yuna? Because Yuna Stubbs played Aunt Sally in uh, Wurzel Gummidge. Oh. <laughs> I didn't quite get that. I didn't, I didn't quite get what he said. Somebody help me out with that one. Oh, that's well, very good. D. That's very good. He's good. Yeah, Dave, Dave, experimental year. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you're a switch hitter, I see, Mr. Mac. Forgotten it, I'll never forgive you. <laughs> uh, happy days, Dave. Happy days. Okay. Dave. Dave, the D, that's what you're saying. The D I'm not, is Dave. Of course I'm not. Okay. Delia. <laughs> not the Delia. And may I say, not my mother, who was called Delia. True story. Definitely not her. But that's why it popped I into your head now as you were making it up. Right? And A was 
Alex. Oh. That certainly is a serendipitous <laughs> series. Yeah. Yeah. If that wasn't serendipitous, I wouldn't have been able to do that. Yeah. Um. <laughs> what, was, what was the M again? What? The M again. Molly. And the E was... What? <laughs> the, e. the E. I'll tell you exactly what the, the E was. The E was... <laughs> it was, in fact. I'll tell you exactly... <laughs> He can't even do it. Uh, and Lee Mack, is, I'm actually shocked. I thought Lee Mack was, would be able to keep this up and keep this fib going. But uh, apparently not. But it makes for great comedy, man. This is hilarious. You know, if here's the other flip side of it. If he's lying, or no, if he's telling the truth and just throwing out this stuff as like, you know, smoke screens to throw David Mitchell off and make him think it's uh, a lie, then it is fucking genius. But uh, no. The E. Give me an E. Aaron, the B. Give me a B. That was a long time ago. Let me first. Brenda and the R. And the R was a uh, reg regime. Regime? Legal <laughs> regime. Yeah. Mm, regime. Well, is that I a name? Regime. It's a name, isn't it? Tell me it's a name. <laughs> <laughs> Regime's a name. Well, it? Anything's a name, isn't it? <laughs> I went out with a girl called Cupboard for three weeks. <laughs> no joke. Jenny where did stuck. Cupboard come in the Bermuda <laughs> list? Oh, Bermuda she, she, was, she was before I, I invented the acronym system. Sorry, it was a system. It, was, it didn't happen by accident. <laughs> you, you were seeking out people. <laughs> Letters. What was it about the island of Bermuda? Well, it's, it's it's because all my ex-girlfriends went missing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this might be the funniest one I've seen. Oh my god, the, the back and forth between David Mitchell and Emag is just fucking brilliant. Those, those two are awesome. I'm not even going to wait for them to try to figure it out, though. I still say he's lying his ass off. But, oh, this is this is so great. This, this was a really good one. So what do you think, David? What, well, what does your team think? I think it's a lie. Would he go with somebody called Brenda? What do you mean, would I go? <laughs> yes, she was Miss World, right? She came yeah. and she said to me, I really like you. And I went, I like you. What's your name, Brenda? Forget it. <laughs> <laughs> so what's it going to be, David? Uh, well, I, think, I, think, I mean, I think it's preposterous because it's preposterous. I think it, yes, I think it's a lie. I think it's a lie. You're saying it's a lie? <laughs> yeah. OK. Yeah. Um, Lee, were you telling the truth or were you telling a lie? Of course I was telling a lie. <laughs> oh, yes, well done. <laughs> he was right off the bat. He's like, of course it's a lie. Yeah, that was one of the most outlandish ones ever. But it, I tell you what, though, this clip, though, of all the what I lied to you reactions I've done now, and I've done quite a few, this was probably the funniest one to me. Although, you know, I'd have to think back, because I can't remember them all. But in recent memory, this is by far the funniest one I've seen. The, the, the banner between David Mitchell and Lee Mack. <coughs> Excuse me. It's bar none. It's bar none. It makes for great television, and I can see why you guys like the show so much. I mean, I wish we had it here in the States. Uh, I've, I've been, uh, I think I was told that like they, apparently they tried to do a show like this in the States and it didn't take on, but which, you know, it's not surprising. You know how many shows that we've tried to do that we got the idea from British television and then we try to do it here and it, they just fuck it up. And I don't think it's because the audience, um, you know, doesn't take on to it and accept it. I think it's more because the, the executives who are in charge of recreating the shows for American audiences and American production, it's just, they don't, they don't understand it. They don't understand the premises of them and they fuck them up. They're like, Oh, we think these people will like this and let's change this and change that. By the time they get it done, it's changed so much that it's, it's not the, it's, it's not the original, you know? So, but anyway, funny, really funny clip. Uh, Lee Mack is the best on the show. If you take him off the show, it's half as good. So, good clip to react to. I hope you enjoyed the reaction. 
Like, subscribe, do whatever you guys want, and I'll see you again soon. Peace out, Boomerites.